Today on The Boiling Point, we're going to talk about economizers. Often we'll see an economizer in an equipment room, and it's easy to wonder what that's doing, what the benefit is, etc. So we're going to go through some of these details. Uh, first, an economizer serves two main functions. One is to save energy, and the second is to improve the water temperature going to our boiler to reduce thermal shock. When we have a feed system, that feed system may preheat the water to a certain extent. On a vented preheat tank, we may get a temperature up to 185 degrees. On a deaerator system, we can easily get that water temperature up to 225 degrees. But compared to the temperature of an operating boiler, which could be 340 degrees or higher, that's quite low. So if we can boost that temperature before it goes into the boiler, we're going to reduce thermal shock on the boiler and save energy. So let's take a look at that. On this economizer, we've got temperature gauges on the inlet and outlet of the economizer. What we can see here is that currently our inlet temperature to the economizer is approaching 200 degrees. The exiting water temperature we're looking at 215 degrees. So we're getting a 20 degree temperature rise on all the water going into this boiler. And the closer we can bring that water temperature to the boiler temperature, the less thermal shock we're gonna have. Let's take a look at why this works. One of the problems that we face with efficiency in a boiler is the temperature of the steam that we're heating. On a boiler operating at 100 PSI, just the water and steam in the boiler is at 338 degrees. So because we've basically got a heat exchanger, we're never going to be able to get below or really even close to that temperature. So the boiler becomes uh, larger and larger with no real benefit because of the temperature of the steam inside. So what we really need is something that's a lower temperature so we can extract more heat. And that's where an economizer comes in. We can bring the feed water from the feed system and it's going to be a much lower temperature than the boiler. So bringing that through a heat exchanger is going to give us a good temperature rise and basically allow us to pull more heat out of the economizer. Here we've got an example of the heat exchange process. The flame, the source of our heat, could be upwards of 2,000 degrees depending on the fuel and the oxygen content. As those flue gases go through the boiler, the temperature is going to drop and we may have a temperature of 450 at the outlet, but it's very difficult to get below that because the closer and closer we get to our steam temperature, the less difference in temperature and the less heat transfer we're going to get. Here we can see the internal structure of the economizer. This is quite a small example, but we can see that we've got a finned tube to extract as much heat from the flue gas possible. So if you've got a boiler with a high steam pressure application, 50, 100 PSI or above, there is still a lot of energy in that stack. So I would just take a look at the calculator online and see what your savings potential is. And, and that's also going to increase the life of your boiler. Well, I thought that'd be a great way to wrap up our series on how gases are moving through the boiler. And we actually capture those gases going through the stack and uh, really working for some efficiency, um, getting it through that economizer. Speaking of efficiency and learning a little bit about boilers, I am at Ware Boiler University. Next week, we are gonna be having classes here again, live people, it's amazing. So we love to have people here. But if you can't come, you can always check out our online class on Boiler 101 that the guys have prepared. Super class, make sure you check that out. Likes on Facebook, follow us on Twitter. If you don't mind, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Check out all those videos and as always, share them for us. We'll see you next time on The Boiling Point.